so today I thought I'd talk a little bit about like time management or how to find some extra time. get your writing done, which is a massive challenge for everyone. Um, takes a lot of time to write a book. It takes a lot of time to read a book, but it takes a lot of time to write a book. First of all, I want to say something I think is kind of important, which is that if all you have time for is to write, is to like fulfill your contractual obligations, then that's all you should do. Don't feel bad if you haven't got time to do the peripheral stuff like the social media and the, I don't know, the podcast interviews, the radio interviews, or writing a newsletter, fiddling with your website. It's easy to feel like you should be doing so much more than you are. It's easy to feel like you're failing because other authors are just brilliant at all the peripheral stuff. Um, I mean, this year I went probably six months without even making one video. It just didn't feel like I had the time, you know. I was working on too many projects, was writing, looking after my kid through the whole COVID thing. Just like had other stuff to do. And I apologize for the lack of videos during that time. But you just sometimes you just got to say, this is not a priority. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do this right now. And if all you can do is the writing, then that's fine. That's okay. And everyone else around you, your publishing team will understand. The other stuff is not essential. And the thing is your publishing team, your or your agent, they are there to support you. They are part of your your world, your publishing world, part of your team. It's a team effort. And they understand that it can be difficult at times. And they are very receptive to you shutting down your social media for a while. They completely understand if you have to um, not accept invitations to certain events. They completely get that. They want you to write the best book you can write. They also want you to, you know, be happy, be content, be healthy, and to be able to uh do this in a, in a good way in a in a sustainable way so you're going to be okay so they don't want you burning out and i think it's always fine to have open conversations about this stuff i think it's really important in fact people understand people are way more understanding than you think oftentimes you'll worry for months and months and months about Maybe you need to extend a deadline or maybe you can't do a trip that you wanted to do that you talked about doing and you worry and you worry about broaching the subject. And then as soon as you do, you know, you kind of you're sweating and you're, you're anxious and you're terrified and the, it's no big deal to them. They completely get it. They completely understand. And if you think, you know, you, you might be working together 15 years into the future. A little thing like that doesn't matter. They want to look after you. And you need to look after yourself, likewise. So don't burn yourself out doing peripheral stuff. I know that for a lot of people, making a video that's one minute long can take them weeks of just being nervous and just being stressed about it. And then the actual thing can create a huge amount of anxiety, the filming of it. So you can, if that's not your thing, then you can offer to write a blog post instead, maybe. Or if you don't want to do a live event because you're not comfortable in front of an audience, then you can maybe offer to do something on Zoom, which is brilliant. And I think we went through a period of people being Zoomed out and now Actually, I think what people want is a mixture, you know, so that it's more, the whole thing is more accessible to everyone and authors get to do both things. So there's always a solution. And the worst comes to the worst. If you just write the book, that's okay. 
And the other thing is sometimes you'll think you do have the time and the energy for the peripheral stuff, you know, to be posting some, I don't know, live interview on reels, whatever that is on Instagram, or to be, you know, setting up a new private group on Facebook, some kind of book club. Sometimes you spend so much time on that, those things. And some of them might be brilliant and some of them are, some authors do that stuff very well. You might spend so much time and energy doing that though, that you kind of burn out by the time you try and write. You're exhausted before you sit down and write. And the writing, you know, the coming up with ideas, original, compelling, interesting, challenging ideas, and then executing, going through on that, you know, visualizing it, understanding a story, coming up with a with characters, coming up with a sense of place, coming up with a plot and writing that story and then rewriting that story and working on that story. That is a lot to undertake without any of the peripheral stuff. And so I guess what I'm saying is it's okay not to do any of the peripheral stuff. And I understand that I'm saying that while I'm kind of doing peripheral stuff. Um, but like I said, I had six months not doing any videos. I don't do a newsletter. I do not have a website. I do the bits and pieces that I enjoy doing. So I love Twitter. I quite like Instagram, although I do not understand Instagram. I'm really terrible at Facebook. I like YouTube. It's kind of fun. It's kind of easy for me. I, I don't mind it at all. It's something I can do remotely from the forest. So I think you pick and choose is what I'm saying. But if you haven't got the energy for it, or if for one year you need to be off social media, you need to just like, I don't know if it's a good idea to log off for a year. I think you get kind of, your account gets disabled, but uh, just like log in and log out or just, just don't use it, don't pick it up. Absolutely fine. Life goes on and you will hit your deadlines or you will at least deliver your books. And that's the main thing. So I think sometimes getting focused and putting the peripheral side peripheral stuff aside can be a real powerful thing to do short term or long term we're not here for the peripheral stuff we're here to to write so that's the end of that i, I just you know i just wanted to say give yourself a break don't do all the other things and if you do the other things pick and choose the ones that make you happy or that don't cause you a bunch of anxiety and uh everything will be fine you know you don't feel the pressure that you have to compete with other authors who are brilliant at the other things at the peripheral things i think often of mick heron who is a writer that i i know personally i like him very much as a as a person and i admire him as a writer and as a storyteller and he's not really on anything he's not on twitter or anything and He's got a certain calmness about him. You know, when you meet him at an event or something, he's very calm and lovely. And uh, maybe he's maybe he's got the balance that absolutely right. I don't know. He does do events. He's very good at events. I did uh, St. Hilda's Cambridge with him. We, we uh, both talked about books that we admire, that we love which is my favorite kind of event where I'm not talking about my own work, but I'm talking about other books. I love those events. And uh, yeah, it was a, a real pleasure to do an event with him. And I remember it was almost like at the end of it, we were, we were talking uh, in front of the audience, asking, asking, answering questions. And we started talking about anxiety, travel anxiety, you know, before you travel that there's that period when you kind of, planning and packing your suitcase, checking your passport every day to make sure that it's not um, expired. And we both have this thing. And uh, it, we were talking to each other about it in front of, you know, I don't know, 100 people, 200 people, like no one was there. <laughs> um, so give yourself a break. If you haven't got the energy to do the peripheral stuff, don't do the peripheral stuff. Just do the reading and the writing, and that's uh, it's working well for Mick, and it will work well for you. And I will see you again soon.